parents' involvement in youth sports by Braden and Jed. Kids have had enough. 70% of kids are dropping out of their sports at age 13. Total sports played by kids 6 to 14 have dropped nearly 10%. Amanda Bysk surveyed kids and found that most kids just want to win and have fun. Parents are using their kids to try and one-up each other. Parents are putting their kids into the highest competitive level that they can afford. This causes unbalanced teams, which leads to kids quitting, because they aren't having fun. Sports are becoming more about parents than kids having fun and being healthy. Are parents ruining kids' sports? Parents are putting kids into elite sports and programs as early as 4 years old. This is putting a lot of pressure and stress on kids at a very young age. Competitive sports are great, but too much can lead to aggression in kids. This is causing an unfair playing field for kids starting later in life. Parents are too competitive at their kids' games. They remember the time that they were out on that field. That same competitive characteristic comes out. Then the parent begins yelling at coaches, referees, and other parents. Inexperienced coaches are only playing their own kid or kids and the best players. Which then leads to parents who get offended when their kid doesn't get playing time. Know it all parents? Parents yell at officials constantly. At almost every youth game you can find at least one parent who believe they are at a professional game. They yell at the inexperienced officials when a call doesn't go their way. Parents don't know the rule book. Sports are always changing, and so are the rules. Times have changed since the parents were out on that same field. It is hard for parents to keep up on all the new rules. Parents are stubborn and have to always be right. As said previously parents don't always know the correct rules. This causes conflict between officials and parents therefore interrupting the game for the kids. Or in some cases causing other parents to get involved. Monkey see, monkey do. Children are yelling at the officials as well. When a kid watches their parents fight they think they can too. If an official makes a call against a child the child becomes defensive and starts yelling back at the officials. Generally in a youth sport in is a young, inexperienced official. They aren't trained on how to handle young kids. If a parent sees their kid upset or mad they will usually attempt to step in. Money money money. Money is probably the biggest factor in sports. Money dictates which level a child can participate at. Generally the parents who have an above average income will have their child in the higher caliber of sport. Cost of sports include travel, equipment, competitions, and facility cost. The cost of sports has skyrocketed to more than ever before. According to Travis Dorsch, assistant professor at Utah State University researching youth sports, up to 10.5% of gross family income may be necessary to sustain participation in athletics. Not being able to play sports. Parents are not allowing kids to play some sports. Usually more common with contact sports, parents are afraid of their child getting injured. This is a valid reason, but the parents may put their child into a sport that the child will absolutely hate. The child may quit this sport and then end up not competing in any sports at all. This can lead to many health problems far worse than a sprained ankle. Parents not having the money to put their kids into the sport. Again money is a big factor, but there are programs like Canadian Tires Jumpstart that help kids get involved with local sports. School sports are usually a lot cheaper than an organization, also schools offer assistance programs that can help children raise money for the sports they want to participate in. Not devoting time to take kids to sporting games and practices. School sports offer perfect times for games and practices that work with parents' work schedules. Effects of kids not playing. Increasing obesity rates in kids. In Canada obesity rates have nearly tripled in the last 30 years. While the number of children in sports has dropped 17% from 1992 to 2005. It is still decreasing. 
creating lazy habits for youth. Kids don't move off the couch unless they want food or have to go to school. Creating more electronic interests, making kids stay inside. Staying inside can lead to many cardiovascular problems in the future. Non-social activities prevent social development skills. Kids would rather sit on a couch and play video games with strangers than go outside and play road hockey with their neighbors. Youth are going into the workforce with very limited social skills. They aren't confident in their work and they are uncomfortable talking face to face with clients and employers. Pressure placed on kids. Parents taking the game too seriously. They believe that their kid is the best in the world. They believe that their child is going to go pro and become famous. Kids are pressured into more extreme and frequent training. Based on our survey, out of 71 people 20 of which or 28.2% said that they participate in extra training over 5 times a week. For a single sport. Parents putting kids into sports they have no interest in. This can lead to depression with that sport. While others are improving the children with no interest stay at the same skill level and never improve. This then leads to kids quitting their sport. Parents putting kids into too many sports. Having kids in multiple sports is amazing. An all-around athlete is much better than one that only competes in one sport. Too many sports can be harmful as well. Higher risks of overuse injuries. Higher stress as they have more plays, games and teams to worry about. Unsupportive parents. Parents not talking to kids about how the game went. According to our survey, 8.5% of people said that their parents wouldn't talk to them after the game. Parents not getting excited for a win. Children seek attention, therefore when a parent isn't excited or enthusiastic about the game that their child just tried their best in, the child begins to wonder what they did wrong. They begin to doubt their skills, they focus more about getting a good job from their parents than they do about having fun and winning as a team. Parents not feeding their kids proper nutrition to succeed. Throwing away money is never a good thing. So why are parents spending thousands of dollars to put their kids into sports, but they won't give them the food they need to succeed? Proper nutrition is essential to succeed in a sport. Without proper nutrition and rest that child will be tired, sore, and will not improve. Parents not interested. Parents dropping off and then leaving. Kids just want to make their parents proud. They look up into the stands and try to pick out their parents. After a goal or a great play they look over to see if their parent was watching. If the parent is not there the child is less excited to make that big play. Parents more interested in talking than the actual game. Parents who go to the game but sit on their phones. These two points go hand in hand. Some parents come to sit in the stands, but will sit and play on the phone or talk to other parents. When their child looks up to the stands, and they see their parent not watching it is heartbreaking. Instantly the kid's attitude changes. Either the kid will be sad and not try as hard, or the kid will get angry and cause penalties and hurt the team as a whole. Parents not making an effort to get kids to game slash practices. Kids wait weeks for the big game, as a parent you have to make sure they make it there. How to make a change. Putting in signs and posters around arena and fields. This will remind parents that this isn't a professional league and they don't need to yell at the officials if there is a bad call. Also it will remind the parents to let their kids have fun. Soundproof barriers for rowdy parents. In extreme cases, or at arenas used regularly for highly competitive games soundproof barriers will provide the kids with the focus and concentration they need while still allowing the parents to see the game. Contract for parents to sign and if not followed, removed. This can lay out the rules so the parents know that they can be suspended from being in the stands at their child's game. This will definitely cause parents to relax and enjoy the game. Thank you for your attention.